guy on, be aggressive, and try to take advantage of the speed. So Texas Southern with Darius McClellan, the six foot four left hander. Well, on his recruiting trip, Darius came here with his parents and they actually came to Minute Maid Park. He fell in love with it. Uh, you think this didn't help with recruiting? Hey, you know what? You're going to get the pitch in Minute Maid Park. Really? Where do I sign? <laughs> you know? So he won out all over those other schools you saw in the graphic. There, there were six other teams involved and he ended up coming here. He loved the academics, the atmosphere, and then Minute Maid Park so, kind of sold him on it. Another ground ball to third base. They continue to test Robert Pearson over there, and he's passed both times. Better try somebody else. That's what's a chance. Hit it to somebody else. Robert Pearson at third base for Texas Southern. Ray Hernandez is the shortstop. Good glove there. Gordea, Jack Gordea, the second baseman. Logan's got all the power at first. The outfield is Bernstein, Flanoy, and Dillegard for the Tigers. Two up, two down for Darius McClellan. Now he faces Evan Richard. From Missouri City, Texas, a senior, one of the leaders of this club. I got to imagine the young left hander McClellan has to be nervous. This is his first official start with his new team. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a big game for him just to settle down and to get three quick outs like he did. If this is completed, it is pretty nice. Three grounders, three outs. A very efficient top half of the first inning for Darius McClellan. The Tigers turn after the break. in the lining of your esophagus. Talk to your doctor about the risk for osteoporosis-related bone fractures and low magnesium levels with long-term use of Nexium. Possible side effects include headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. Let your doctor do her job, and you do yours. Ask if Nexium is right for you. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. From the Youth Academy to set the standard for instruction, teaching, and education in urban America through the strength of the national pastime and to enhance the quality of life in the surrounding communities. Well, and they're doing such a great job of being able to expand. You may not be a play, Major League Baseball player, but there's opportunities for you to get involved in Major League Baseball, and that's really what that mission statement is all about. Opportunity for a young man like Derek Mitchell to pitch on national TV in front of pro scouts. The left-hander goes to work in the bottom of the first, and he starts off Flanoy with a strike. Seven and three was Mitchell's record last year. He led the team in victories. Another strike from Mitchell. Flanoy, if he gets on base, he can uh, wreak havoc. We talked about this rivalry game in the open, Harold. And uh, listen, the football game between these two schools is played at Reliance Stadium. Okay, it's mm -hmm. a pro venue, and they play basketball against each other. It's at the Toyota Center in Houston. That's where the Rockets play. And now for the first time, these head coaches get to have their baseball teams play in a pro venue, and Anthony Flanoi gets things started for the Tigers on the right foot. Big turn at first. So let's see what Texas Southern can brew here in the bottom of the first. No, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, they can, that's the advantages of being in a major league city. Where you have the Texans and you have the Rockets, but for them to be able to come in here and play in Minute Maid Park, this is a door that hadn't been open. This is pretty, pretty cool. And the weather uh, helps. It's raining outside in Texas, and most clubs in the area have been rained out, but they've been able, with a retractable roof here at Minute Maid, get the games in. So this is great. Nico Bernstein showed, but instead it could be 4 6 3, and it is, even though the ball was dropped at first. But they're going to say that Harris dropped that in the exchange. Yeah, but what a pick 
by the second baseman, little brother Chris Young. Andre Oliver. This is nice. Uh, he's getting ready to throw the ball around. That's why he dropped it. And you can go either way with the control. But this is a, almost like a, they're, they're going to slash and run on this. And his quick exchange is why they were able to turn this over. That's a double play. The first base was taking it to, to throw it around. You can see clearly here he catches it. The out is made. And he's starting to throw the ball around the diamond. But that was a beautiful play. Nice defensive play. Second base was started that. Shortstop with a nice turnover. This is the conversation that Mike Anderson coach is saying, hold the timeout. How you, how are you saying that he didn't drop that ball? But if you watch here, he'll catch the ball clearly in the glove. All right. Now he's coming to transfer to throw it around. If he's not going to throw the ball anywhere, he's got total Well, you wonder if Mike Robertson, the coach of Texas Southern, saw that the ball looked like he almost snow coned it a little bit. Did he have full control? Was it in the mitt? Mm. Maybe. I, I would have had to argue myself, but I think I'm siding with the umpire on that call. Two outs now. Jag Gordea. Mm. So we saw the second baseman Oliver make a nice play with the glove. And I can see many second basemen in college baseball hit third in their lineup. That's what Gordea does for Texas Southern. They like his bat. They think he's going to hit for average and, and drive in some runs this year. Yeah, and I think the one thing uh, that happens with that three spot, you want a guy that's, that's going to do exactly what you said, hit for average and drive in runs. It doesn't necessarily have to translate to power. If you can hit balls in the gap and drive in runs, particularly style of play that they play where you steal a lot of bases, you hit and run, different things, then you can be effective. We're just used to things in, in Major League Baseball being what they are. You know, the power guy hits third, fourth, and fifth, unless you're the Red Sox and you put Dustin Pedroia in that spot. Yeah, and even when he does that, he has power that night. You know, but the, traditionally, your third hitter should be your best hitter on the team. Period. And that's, you know, not everybody goes by that golden rule, but that's usually what you're looking to do. Three one pitches in there. But as, as we can attest to, the college game is different than the pro level game. You'll see a guy bunt with the two strikes on him and two outs and you'll see hit and runs different stuff like that. Ground ball to short. Hernandez makes the play. So after a leadoff single a nifty 4 6 3 double play and we're scoreless after one in Houston. Imagine living and learning in the modern facilities of the second oldest public institution in Texas. Imagine experiencing the spirit of Prairie View. Imagine choosing from over 90 different degree programs. Imagine the possibilities after earning your degree from Prairie View and University. Prairie View and University. Imagine yourself here. Now listen to me. I've seen you grow as players and grow as a team. And no matter what happens out there. University is the great Lou Brock. Vince Coleman's son played earlier today for Southern at first base. He got the son. His, his name. He got the start. His name was Vince Coleman Jr. Hall of Famer Andre Dawson and Ricky Weeks, who started Southern University as well. Pretty impressive crop. Back to action. McClellan with a strike to Brad Bennis, the cleanup hitter for Prairie View a &M. Brad Bennis. Is from Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha Central High School. And uh, I have a nephew, Daryl Hawkins, who plays at the University of Oregon. They went to school together, high school together. Small world, huh? Some good baseball there. Their, their school at Omaha Central is located right next to Creighton University. And now Creighton on the campus there has the host of the College World Series now that they moved that to the other side of town, the stadium. Mm -hmm. It's right, right around the corner there, not too far away downtown by the Civic Center and all that. So. He's been around a lot of good baseball growing up. Sends this one to center field for Lenoy has it for the first down in the top of the second. What do you think when uh, people bring up the idea of maybe for a year taking the College World Series out of Omaha? Now nah, that's where it's supposed to be. You know that's the one thing um, when you think of Omaha Nebraska you think College World Series. They've done a great job of branding that uh, for any player to get that in their mind that that's where you want to go. I, I think sometimes with the other tournaments, uh, you think Williamsport, you think Little League, you know. I mean, I think it's cool. But we, with with a lot of things, I think that's what we're trying to get to with RBI and whatnot because they rotate. You know, one year it's in Minnesota, yeah. and another time it's somewhere else. And I don't think you get the fan base or the following. Kids need to know where they're going. 
I want to have a destination. I'm going to Omaha. Every college player in the country, when you mention Omaha, knows where he's going. It's not like the Final Four. It's you a don't have the passage. Same. You don't have the following that you have for the Final Four or the national championship game of football where you can rotate that around the bowls. Yeah. Well, maybe same. you would if other cities got to see what it would be like to have the College World Series there. Again, I've been to Omaha. It's an amazing mm -hmm. place to have that College World Series, and it's an unforgettable experience for all the kids that get to go. Here's Dominic Harris, the first baseman. Well, and, and, and again, one of the great traditions in baseball is being able to say, hey, I played where Roger Clemens pitched at. You know, although yeah. the stadium's new now, but you've, you've had that same experience.